Good morning children. Let us learn some formula for the better understanding of the problems. Number of shares. Two ways I can calculate. Suppose they give you face value of one share and the total face value divide. Total face value divide by face value of one share gives us number of shares. Not only that, you can divide investment by market value of one share. So both the cases give us number of shares. What is the income from the shares? Number of shares into face value into rate percentage. So what is the percentage of return? Yield also we say. Percentage of return we say. Percentage of whatever he receives back we say. So in all these cases remember the formula income by investment into 100 and whatever answer you get put it as percentage. What is the change in income? How do you calculate? Before selling find out the income. After selling find out the income. So change in income tells us the income after sales minus the income before sale. Investment. Every time we say it is market value of all the shares. So how do I write the formula? Total number of shares into market value of one share. Having no easy formula, let us proceed on to the exercise problems. Exercise 7.2 question number 4. Mohan invested rupees 29,040 in 15% of rupees 100 shares of a company quoted at a premium of 20%. Calculate number of shares, annual income, the percentage return on his investment. As we read the problem, let us identify rupees 100 shares tell me face value equal to rupees 100. So what is market value? Quoted at premium tells we need to add 100 plus 20 gives us 120. Investment. Mohan invested what? The total amount we call investment which is 29,014. How to find number of shares? Investment by market value of one share. 29,040 divided by 120 equals 242. So how many shares? 242 shares. What is the first question? Number of shares. So we have found out number of shares is 242. Second question, annual income. Annual income equals number of shares 242 into face value 100 into rate percentage. What is the percentage given? 15%. So 15 by 100. We get rupees 3630. Third subsection. Percentage return on his investment. Percentage return tells calculate on investment. So, the formula is income by investment into 100%. What is the income? 3,613. What is the investment? 29040 into 100. Express it in percentage. We get 12.5%. So, percentage return on the shares is 12.5%. Question number 5. A man buys 400 of rupees 10 shares at a premium of rupees 2.50 on each share. If the rate of dividend is 12%, then find his investment, annual dividend, rate of interest received by him on his money. How many shares given? 
a man buys 400 so number of shares is 400 what is the face value rupees 10 shares tells me face value rupees 10 at a premium of 2.50 premium tells add with face value so face value 10 premium 2.50 market value will be 12.50 rupees rate of dividend is 12 percent my first question is investment the formula number of shares into market value of one share number of shares 400 into market value of one share 12.50 let us multiply we get rupees 5000 the second part of it annual dividend annual dividend is number of shares into face value into rate percentage number of shares 400 Face value 10, rate percentage is 12. So we write 12 by 100. We get rupees 418. Third part, rate of interest received by him on his money. So on his money tells it is return on the investment. What is the formula? Income by investment into 100. Income 480, investment is 5000 into 100. Simplify, we get 9.6 percentage. Question number 6 Sundar bought 4500, 12% of rupees 10 shares at par. He sold them when the price rose to rupees 23 and invested the proceeds in rupees 25 shares paying 10% per annum at rupees 18. Find the change in his income. We will do line by line. The first line says he bought 4500 so total face value is 4500 rate of dividend is 12 percent so let us write dividend rate is 12 percent rupees 10 shares tells us face value of one share is rupees 10 when I know the total face value and face value of one share, I can immediately write number of shares. It is total face value divided by face value of one share. That is 4500 by 10, 450. As I know the number of shares, I can easily find out the annual income. Face value that is 10. Number of shares 450. Rate percentage 12 by 100. Simplify. We get rupees 540. Now we proceed on to the second line. He sold them when the price rose to rupees 23. Sold them. How many shares he is holding? 450 shares. One share how much he is selling for rupees 23. So what is the selling price of 450 shares? 450 into 23. So he gets rupees 10,315. With this amount in his hand, he is investing in rupees 25 shares. So what is the face value? Rupees 25. What is the rate percentage given? 10%. What is the market value? At rupees 18 tells us market value is rupees 18. How to get the number of shares? Selling price, whatever amount he is having, with that he is buying. So what is he having in his hand? 10,350 rupees. He is buying in the market. So I must divide by the market value. So how many shares can he get? 
10,350 divide by 18. He can get 575 shares. Now what is the income? The rate percent is 10%. Number of shares is 575 and the face value is 25. Let us multiply. 575 into 25 into 10 by 100. Rupees 1437.50. What is the question? Find the change in his income. We have got income before sale 540. Income after sale rupees 1437.50. Change in income is subtract. Income before sale from income after sale. That is 1437.50 minus 540. Rupees 897.50. So the change in income is rupees 897.50. Question number 7. A man invests rupees 13,500 partly in 6% of rupees 100 shares at rupees 140 and the remaining in 5% of rupees 100 shares at rupees 125. If his total income is rupees 560, how much has he invested in each? 13,500 is the total investment in two different shares. Let us consider X to be the amount invested in the first type and 13,500 minus X the investment in the second type. Total investment is 13,500. If I consider X as the first investment, the remaining... 13,500 minus X will be the investment in the second type. Now, what is the first investment? 6% of rupees 100 shares at 140. How to calculate number of shares? Investment by market value. That is X by 140. Here, what is the number of shares? Investment 13,500 minus X by the market value at 125 tells me market value is 125. How to calculate income number of shares? X by 140 into face value rupees 100 shares. So face value rupees 100. Rate percent is 6%. Simplifying we get 6x by 140 or I can still cancel it is 3x by 17. Finding the income in the second type of shares. Number of shares 13500 minus x by 125 into face value again 100 only into rate percentage is 5%. Or I will say 5 by 100. So as we cancel, we get 13,500 minus X divided by 25. Now, the question says, total income is rupees 516. Total income says I have to add both. So 3X by 17 plus 13,500 minus X by 25 equals to 516. Taking LCM for 70 into 25, let us multiply. Cross multiply 75X plus cross multiply 945,000 minus 70X equals 516. As we simplify, 75x minus 70x is 5x plus 945,000 equals 
into 70 into 25 gives us 980,000. Therefore, 5x is equal to 980,000 minus 945,000. We get 35,000. 5x is 35,000 tells us x is equal to 7,000 rupees. So let us take and write. 6% of rupees 100 shares is x. What is x? Rupees 7,000. And 5% of rupees 100 shares is 13,500 minus x. 13500 minus 7000 is 6500 rupees so we have found out how much he has invested in the two shares question number 8 babu sold some rupees 100 shares at 10% discount and Invested his sales proceeds in fifteen percent of rupees fifty shares at rupees thirty three. Had he sold his shares at ten percent premium instead of ten percent discount, he would have earned rupees four hundred and fifty more. Find the number of shares sold by him. The question is number of shares. Let us assume it as x. What is the first statement? Sold some rupees hundred shares. Rupees hundred shares tell us face value is rupees hundred. A ten percent discount. Market value is hundred minus ten. Remember, discount tells us to subtract. Hundred minus ten is nineteen. What is market value of X shares? 90 is one share there are x number of shares so 90 into x this is the first statement what we have completed now he is investing that in 15% of rupees 50 shares at rupees 33 so he is buying buying what rupees 50 shares at rupees 33 What is the rate percentage? Fifteen percentage. How to calculate the income? It is number of shares. How to calculate number of shares? Total market value by market value of one share. That is thirty-three. So total market value is ninety x. He is buying at rupees thirty-three. So number of shares is ninety x by thirty-three. Into face value, he bought rupees fifty shares. So face value is fifteen. Rate percentage is fifteen. Fifteen by hundred. Simplify the answer. We get two twenty five x by eleven. Suppose he is selling at ten percent premium. Discount tells us hundred minus ten ninety, so we got ninety here. Premium will tell us add, so instead of ninety, I will put hundred and ten x by thirty three into fifty into fifteen by hundred. Simplify. We get two seventy five x by eleven. The question says. Instead of discount, if he had sold for ten percent premium, he would have earned rupees four fifty more. So the difference in income is four fifty. Let us subtract two seventy five x by eleven minus two twenty five x by eleven is four fifty. Subtracting fifty x by eleven is four fifty or X is equal to four fifty into eleven by fifty. That is ninety nine. The question is number of shares. Number of shares is ninety nine.